Hi friends, welcome to testing tutorials point. This is Lokesh and today we are going to be discussing about how to handle Excel file, like uh, how to get the Excel data and log into the users. The similar format you can able to apply for uh, post APIs, API section also you can able to similar format only, nothing different. The same format you can apply and it will work for you also. Okay, because uh, I forgot to add this particular video uh, while, while I'm doing for Cypress UI automation and API automation also, any one of them still I didn't uh, added. And one of the YouTube uh, follower also asked the same question, how to handle like Excel file to read the data. Because I'm, most of the time I'm using for JSON and I'm not done for this Excel uh, related information. I never find uh, uh, provided that into my playlist. Due to that, I just added, uh, I'm going to adding for one of the UI automation, the similar format, if you can apply for API also, it is working as expected, no issues. Okay, first of all, what you have to do, means you have to install this plugin, NPM, install node iphone x l s x space iphone iphone save iphone dev once you install this one it will uh, give you for installation is successful okay once you've done the installation you have to go through that again like in config file cypress.config.js file okay config dot like cypress.config.js file. Inside that you have to add uh, two lines of code extra. Okay, what are the things uh, up to here? Everything is same, okay? This first line is common to everybody, okay? But you have to add three, these three things. One is node iPhone X L X default and require is FS and path is same path only. Okay, you have to mention like this. Okay, and after that, this module and everything is common. Okay, in that folder, like that file, you have the common things. Up to here is common, okay. After eighth line, like after you adding for above three, it will come to eighth position, okay. Once it is coming eighth position, you can able to see, and you have to give the task double quotation task comma and parts x l s x and you have to provide for open base and curly brace and you can provide the file path just provide the name of the file path okay once you provided you can open the uh, again uh, curly brace and return new primes resolve and reject and you have to create the try block json data and equal to xlx parsing this read file sync and resolve the JSON data. Just you have to give the naming convention or similar format, it will work for you. Okay. Uh, catch and reject and close it. Okay. All things are will be closed. Okay. Nothing, uh, nothing uh, added. Only this piece of code only you have to add it here to here. These are the uh, things you have to add additionally. Okay, once you added these particular lines, right? You can see here, up to here, nine, nine to seventeenth line, up to up to eighteenth line. You have to do it. Okay, just uh, pass my video and type your uh, local properly, and after that you can try for that. Okay, once you've done this one, open for commands.js. Commands.js it will present in the support folder in your Cypress folder section. There is support right inside the support. This commands.js is presented. You have to add one or uh, two lines of code one more time. This is the one Cypress commands that add parse XLS and input file and return cy.task. And you have to use this is the one. Once you provided this one, save your file. Then open your login. Open your create a new file for login. Okay, how to create and all I already explained it. Right? You can able to same thing. You can apply here also. Once you apply that and you can able to 
describe is basically a suit level creation and this is a title of the description and we are going to create the function then it is basically it will provide for test case and we need to provide the test case name and inside that we need to write for cy dot parse x l s x and we need to provide the file name and here we need to store our file in the fixes inside the fixes we need to store our file okay i have the file it is located into cypress and fixes and you can able to see book one this is my excel sheet on my it is loading so this is my excel sheet i have four four rows two columns okay this is my file and once we added the file any data okay in my case i'm taking for uh, less consumption purpose i take the very less consumptions okay in here you have to add the tricky format okay if you've done small mistake also it will become a very uh, complicated to handle okay give the properly and inside the test case place cy dot parse xls and you have to provide the file name with extension and dot then condition you can provide any name of this particular json okay not only the same one you can able to provide your own uh, name also any kind of name you can able to pa pass it okay then function open because we are uh, storing the entire xls file data this entire xls file we are storing here okay because of that we are used for json data okay equal function creation once you create the function inside that we need to get the how many length it is present I means length is nothing but the sheets how many sheets are presented this is the one it will provide okay this one it will provide for how many then we are going to forget the length okay once we get the length of them the data inside the sheet the zero is become a uh, sheet zero if you are not provide the zero position we can uh, if you make it for json data dot data then it will give you for how many sheets are presented okay if you provide the zero position means it will take for sheet one okay it will take for sheet one otherwise it will uh, if you want all the sheets how many is there you can able to provide like this and we need to rotate for for loop and we need to get it okay then once you done this one the rows count it will give us how many rows we have four rows okay and the rows we are going to print it here once we get the rows the first row is become like a username password we don't want that's why i started for one because our excel sheet index position start with a zero position okay that's why i made it for one to read and the let i'm going to do for what i'm doing the sheet zero sheet and data is first row if i get the first row data iphone one i need to store this value because row value it will comes for mercury and this one these two values it will comes for dividing that i'm going to do for value zero and value one because it is array row become a array two values array right then I'm divided for that value into value zero and value one because array index position will start with the zero. Okay, I provide for my particular uh, uh, website URL. If you want, you can able to provide outside of the art also. It will, you can able to provide here also or here also. Anything is okay. Okay, there is no problem. Okay. No, no, no issues. You can able to provide any place. Uh, it will not take any problem for you. Okay, then you can able to provide your username and password, and you can able to provide the submit button. Here, uh, if you have you are doing for registration page, you need to provide the registration details. And I'm going to do for Mercury login page. That is this one. If I provide invalid case, it will comes to here. 
okay if i provide the pass to case it will go for next page okay due to that i am providing like that okay once i get this one once i click this one and i'm going to what i'm going to write just doing for assertion for getting for entire body here now okay what i'm getting entire body the body entirely i'm going to store into this body variable and the finding for the particular length if this particular submit button if the body position if it is presented okay the body presented if this particular input name equal to submit if the button is provided presented just provide the length if it is present means it will give one if it is not present means zero okay i storing into the variable that variable i'm going to make it here if that particular length equal equal zero then you can make it for success because if it is every time present means it will stay into the same page we are going to validate for error message then i'm going to do for error message validation okay this is the one i'm simple i'm doing okay in your case also up to here is same up to here is same but after next it is what all the things like uh, you need to use for your uh, post methods right that all the things you have to use inside and which is the position value you want that position value like he asked me for uh, how to provide multiple uh, if i provide in the excel sheet there are multiple uh, json files how to pass that json file into this particular uh, uh, postman like uh, the post method how we can able to pass same how i done here the same format you have to do it for your place in json place you have to use for value which position it will come the array first zero position then in the zero position there are multiple values you for providing i'm providing for username and password in your case how many columns you are providing if you providing for five values the five position your json is presented then take here fourth value okay take the fourth value and apply then it will work for you okay no need to bother about that because the same thing it will work okay how many time you want to run your post method that many time it will work okay and i'm going to show you how it will works there are so many people so many ways they showed that but after i finalize and everything i just i come up with the very easiest format how we can able to implement your own very simplest format i showed that okay it will work 100% it may be in next new versions maybe if you are not able to get it means you can comment in this video i'll try to make it another new video for you see everything is success now if i go top it will give the four we are printing right and every time we are going to check here you can able to come to here see the body if this particular td this value is presented means one the button is presented means one then we are validating is visible and second case again we can able to see again one the last position success message zero position because our value is not presented we are going to directly verifying for success messages okay this is a very simplest format for how to use excel file data to log in multiple times the same format you can able to use for how to do it for postman api to provide multiple jsons okay this is one simplest format to use it for excel data thank you for watching If you like this video, please like me. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and don't forget to share your friends and colleagues. If mostly if it is help for you, please like my video. Thank you.